what's going on guys welcome to another video so finally we have reached to this episode where we'll be discussing on how can we send uh whatsapp not uh, notification from app sheet so of course this is a series or an episode will be deeply discussed on the use of api and this is actually one of many options out there but again this is a bit special because this api you can get it for free so we'll discuss that more in the video so without further ado let's go all right guys so basically let's say i have an app so in this case i have this app called blue sky so it's an app that i just purposely create uh, with regards to uh, airline departure and arrival tracker so here i have the, the the relevant data flight number airline departure arrival time and status so on and so forth so what i want is a whatsapp notification every time when there's a new line item added here so again in this case the best way to do this for a start again this method is uh, for personal use i'm using a service by call me bot so you can actually check this at callmebot.com so here you will find the setup um, guidance so basically you need to have an api key from the bot itself so all you need to do is to add this number into your phone contacts and send the message. I allow call me bot to send me a mess so to send me messages. So once you have that, you'll have your API key and we can move on from there. So once you have this ready, head on to your app once again. So again, depends on your case. My case is I want to receive a notification every time when i receive a new uh, airline input or new data input in the app so you need to go to automation in the robot uh, icon here and as you can see i've created a, a a bot which i'll run you through so all you need to do is create a new bot which i already have and in the settings is uh, i'll just rename it here new flight so for the event name is new flight and for my case is whenever there's data change i mean you can set it to ads only but for my case i'll just use all changes make sure you use the right table that you want to have this condition in fact i'm leaving it to uh, no condition means for any condition i mean eventually i can use for any status or whatsoever but i just leave it empty for now but here's the interesting part which is the step once you have the condition ready so here create a new step which i already have uh let me say send whatsapp message and run a task and of course, you need to select the call a webhook, as you can see it here. And for this to in fact, we want the flights table, which the one I'm using. It can be any table to your liking. Uh, preset, I'm setting it to custom. And the URL, I will share the structure on how to get this uh, properly uh, in place or intact and of course for the http verb you must select it to post there's a few options delete patch post put and get so i'm using post http content type is json and leave the body body empty for now so let's go back to the url which is the most important part this is where the API is. Of course, in the website itself has its uh, URL documentation. You can refer that in CallMeBot 
Facebook.com. But if you're too lazy for that, okay, then I'll just share you my URL structure and I'll explain it to you. Okay, so as you can see on screen, we have the HTTPS api.callmebot.com slash whatsapp.php So the source here is app sheet and phone number is actually your phone number and text so the text is where the message of the whatsapp so here i want it to be a bit more dynamic so i have the encode url and you can see the message here is hello aris azaha comma a new paragraph flight number is the message double dot and flight number so it's actually taking from the flight number column and so for an airline column so the, what airline it is and has departed from so again these are all text message and departure airport means the column for departure airport and to and arrival uh, airport and around and actual departure time and uh, close the parentheses till open parentheses and actual arrival time and right at the end you will see there's an end symbol api key equals to your api key so your api key is the one that you receive from the bot once you allow the message uh, to be sent to your number so use your api key right at the end and you will have your url ready if you have any issues with this, you may want to double check on your uh, URL to make sure it's properly set up for you. Okay, so let's see how it works. Here, I want to make sure I have the um, input ready. So let's add a new input. Let's say flight number is MH, uh, this is Malaysia Airlines by the way, uh, 88890. Airline, Malaysia Airlines. Departure airport is from, let's say, um, Singapore. I think it's Changi Airport, is it? Arrival to... Uh, let's make it more unique. Aris Azhar's airport. So again, all this information that you can put. So let's say arrival will be in two hours time. I think that's more about it. But yeah. So status arrive. Again, I have not emphasized more on these, the other setups like status to be a drop down whatsoever. Again, it's just a quick demo. Uh, our main focus today is the API itself. So now what happens is we want the app to behave such where it will send me a WhatsApp uh, message. So the moment I press send, and there you have it. You can see Hello Aris Azha, flight number MH88890 from Malaysia Airlines has departed from Singapore to Aris Azha's airport around um, 9 to 11.52. So, I hope this is something that you like to try today and i hope it helps as well and i try my best to make it simple for you guys to try but again as you can see this is something uh, that you can achieve uh, through uh, api connection in app, app sheet to whatsapp and there's many other options as well if you're looking into more 
uh, sophisticated settings. Of course, this tutorial that we're discussing today did not cover on how to send a WhatsApp notification to other numbers, but there is a way. And I guess the only way that you know need to change is the API, since the one that we are using in this tutorial uh, did not support uh, sending messages to other numbers, since it's free free for personal use. But not to worry, as long as you have the right API, the way is similar. Uh, so give it a try. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.